Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and it's unboxing time. Um, it's been a little bit since I've done an unboxing video, it feels like. I guess it hasn't been that long. <laughs> anyway, this is from my buddy Grady's Gear, G Money over there, and uh, I'm, I've become pretty good friends with Chris. We talk quite a bit. Um, we're in a group chat with Kevin and Kyle, and uh, yeah, we've, we've gotten to know each other a decent bit. I really, really like him. His channel is still relatively small, so if you guys haven't checked him out, I'd encourage you to do so. Um, it's Grady's Gear. I'll link him down in the description, and uh, yeah, he's reviewed a couple of my knives. He has taste that I think actually runs pretty parallel to mine. Uh, the things that he likes, and a uh, great dude. So check out his channel if you haven't already. This package came straight from him. Uh, one of the knives is his. It's one of his personal knives that he's loaning to me to check out because he thinks that I will like it. And the other is kind of a pass around type of thing going on. Um, I think it was Kevin or Kyle that started it, but it's a Liang Ma knife that Liang Ma sent uh, for us to kind of each check out, which is cool. So. Let's get into this. Uh, I'm gonna assume the one in the nice pouch, yeah, that's the Liang Ma. And then the one from Chris is actually also a Liang Ma, but is his personal one that's in this bubble wrap. So let's start with this. Um, this is the Field Duty EDC. And I reviewed Kyle's Field Duty, not EDC, the big boy version of this knife, uh, a couple months ago now. And I liked a lot about it, but there were a couple little things that just didn't click for me, and so I didn't end up loving it. Um, objectively, it was a really, really nice knife, and the biggest thing, honestly, was the back corner of the knife, and I got a bunch of pansy hand comments over it. I'm sure some people, again, are going to be tooting their own horn about how tough their hands are, but these, uh, the jimping section back here on that knife was just sharp. It was actually sharp, and it bugged me every time I reached into my pocket past the knife, and um, it was one of those things that once I like saw it and it like scratched me a couple of times, I was just like, screw this. <laughs> I, know. I didn't like it. Um, it seemed like an oversight to me. But this is a smaller version, and uh, a slightly different construction. That one was a bolster lock. This one is a frame lock, but it has the kind of, I don't know, do you call this like a clamshell construction, where the show side scale um, actually comes over, so there's no backspacer. The scale is the backspacer, if you will, and uh, mounts into the titanium lock side. So this size and weight and configuration should be a little more my speed anyways. I've been hearing really, really good things about this, but let's go ahead and give it a flick. Middle finger flicks real well. <laughs> that was good. Nice, generous forward finger choil. It's a really big forward choil, actually. Look at that. Even without the choil, I'm getting all four fingers, but with the choil, that's nice. This is kind of, feels to me a little bit like pair of three sized. Um, nice full flat grind, pretty thin down behind the edge. This guy's an L-Max. Um, so there were a couple iterations of this um, in terms of the scale material. This one's obviously carbon fiber, as you can see, but they did some G10 ones as well. And uh, yeah, this is nice. Not a drop shutter. Flicks real well. That was from the bottom of the hole. Let's try from the top. Yeah, authority from the top of the hole. Cool. So, yeah, I like the weight. I like the size right off the bat. It feels good in hand. So I'm excited to carry this and check it out and ultimately review it. Um, but, yeah, this is the one that's Chris's personal knife that he loves. So appreciate him loaning that to me. And then this is the loaner from Leon. That's kind of being passed around. And uh, this is called the L1. It's an integral, Riet made. All of Leong's knives, to my knowledge, currently are Riet manufactured. Um, you get this nice pouch. I dig that. Got a little patch in there. And then there's a cloth and a card and a baggie and then the knife. So I'm just gonna pull out the knife because <laughs> everything else seems tedious. Um, all right, so we've got a bolster lock, titanium with like a marbled carbon fiber. I'm trying to see, yeah, it's kind of like an orange peeled finish on the titanium. Got a nice, very kind of typical Liang Ma style looking pivot there. The pivot on this side is interesting. It looks like part of this assembly, like it all pops out. 
I assume because it's an integral. That's why they did that. Very Liang Ma pocket clip. You got the bearing ball there, the ceramic ball. Um, and as you can see, full integral design. Now, this being a Riet manufactured integral from Liang Ma, um, S90V blade steel as well, that's a cool touch. I think these come in at like 600 bucks, so not a cheap guy, but let's see how it flips. Yeah, it's a nice action. I keep thinking there's a hair on it because of this pivot thing right here, that squiggly line where it pops out. Um, blade shape seems very, very simple to me. The lines of this knife in general are super simple. You do have a little bit of a fuller here. Let's see if I can middle finger flick that. Yeah, I can middle finger flick it. That helps. I was going to be a little bit bummed if it was flipper only. Oh, it's a little tough to get in there, isn't it? There we go. Um, I got a little bit of a forward choke up spot. Not really a full choil. I'd be a little bit wary of doing hard work in here, but for detail stuff, that'll work. Interesting. Yeah, super neutral handle shape. It's comfortable right out of the box in hand. Action, not a guillotine, but smooth. And deployment is really nice and crisp. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, yeah, so this is the L1. This is the Field Duty EDC. I said duty, you caught me. Um, <laughs> yeah, so two Liang Ma knives. One belongs to Chris, one is a loaner from Liang Ma himself, and uh, yeah, I'm interested to check these out. I don't know. I'll have to check. I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to carry and use this. I think it might be one of those cases where I'm just kind of supposed to check it out. Um, so TBD on that. I know Chris is all right with me carrying and at least lightly using this guy. So I'll do that. But yeah, there will be a full review on each of them respectively when the time comes. I'm not sure quite how quick I will be with everything that's on my plate right now, but relatively soon. Be on the lookout for those. And uh, huge thanks again to Chris Grady's Gear for sending these out. I appreciate it. G Money, you're the best. His channel will be linked down below. I'll link to Leong's site down below as well. Um, so you can see these guys. I think they're available now at a bunch of retailers. I'm not 100% positive. But yeah, so check them out. They're sweet. I know River's Edge Cutlery, by the way, carries Leong Ma designs now, Leong Ma knives, which is cool. So they would be my choice if I was going to be picking one of these up for myself, but there you have it. We'll see you guys on the next one.